Good morning everyone. Welcome to our last day in North Myrtle Beach. We are actually travel day today. 10 o'clock, we just checked out of the Club Wyndham Ocean Boulevard. Uh, it's been a great week as you can probably can tell in this vlog. It's been uh, something we're very pleased about doing and really enjoyed this area. We enjoyed our, our time here. The weather cooperated. Uh, now we're taking, you know, see where this guy goes. We're taking, uh, I guess our next jaunt, which is to uh, regular Myrtle Beach. And we're gonna stop and have breakfast first down at IHOP. We cleaned our room out, of course, as we were cleaning out our place. And uh, we're just gonna take our time because we know we probably can't get in till what? Probably four o'clock or uh, three o'clock anyway. They say four, but yeah. you never know. Time we get out of here, we drive down. It's about a half an hour drive. No, 20 minutes to Myrtle Beach. We're gonna go and take a little loop through Costco. That's where it is. And Best Buy, we're still looking for a charger unit for my GoPro. So all in all, uh, by the time all that gets done, we'll probably be uh, ready to check in. And we're just going to the Sheraton Broadway Plantation. So we'll take you through this little uh, IHOP stop, see what we get for uh, breakfast, see how good it is, give you an update on all that. Everybody likes to see food. <laughs> And uh, we'll see how we go. We're just up here past the Walmart on the left. Let's see if we can see the sign. We've been down in this area an awful lot because this is where our Walmart was, where we got most of our groceries. So what did you think, Ann, of that whole week? I thought it was a great place to spend a week. Yeah. I um, would not hesitate on recommending North Myrtle Beach to anybody who likes a little quieter area instead of being down um, south a little further, but um, that's my opinion. I like quiet. Yeah, we do too. We both do. It's a guy pulling off right out front there. Oh, that's a wheelchair. We won't go on that one. Oh, around the side where it's not quite as busy. And there's the big iconic eye hope side. Ready to go. We're we'll here. Yeah, we'll Check see. Check with you when we get inside. Yep. It's a busy place. Morning, How you doing? Good morning. Good. Two of us, please. Good. Booth would be preferred, please. Yeah, yeah perfect. Either way, I was going to clean one up for you. Oh, perfect. Uh, You're the guy. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Here's our menu. Of course, it's huge. Looks like my wife decided on pancakes. There you go. Rudy Tootie. Rudy Tootie, yeah. There you go. She likes that. I'm looking at more of a traditional kind of breakfast, I think. Just give us a couple of minutes, I guess, and we'll figure this out. Can I come back in a minute? Okay, yeah, yeah perfect. That'd be great. Thank, Thank you. you. Wonderful service here. Really good service. Yep. Yeah, and there's the eggs benefit. Something I've never tried. Well, you know what? I didn't try that uh, breakfast sample this morning, and I'll ask him for the senior ones. It's a little bit smaller. I don't know if I can eat it all and or not. And that's what I'll be getting. The Ruby Cutie. Cutie. Okay, also it comes with a lot of stuff. What are you going to get? What kind? Strawberry? What do you know? Uh, probably blueberry. plate award over there for Ann and a pseudo plate award for me. I wasn't a big fan of those link uh, sausage and I'm not a fan of the shredded potatoes. That's not my thing. I'm more of a chopped, you know, real potato grilled with onions <laughs> kind of guy or even deep fried. Those weren't my favorite. I would have to say pancake was good. The egg was well cooked. Bacon was okay. I'm going to give that about a 7 out of 10 for me. How about you Ann? 
looked at it as six out of six, ten. Six, six out of ten, okay. So. The picture looked better than the actual. Uh, well, it, was, it was all right. I don't know what the price is going to be. I know Ann's was only $7.99, but mine was $12.99, but I got the senior size, which was the appropriate size. It's probably a little cheaper, so not too bad. All right. That's our review. Off to the next one. Next one. We've made it to the Myrtle Beach official area. Myrtle Beach welcomes us. Yep, now we'll just cruise along here until we get to, uh, I guess we're heading to Costco. We're going to go along the whole route here before we get to Costco. It's sort of on the other side of Myrtle Beach. So we should go by several golf courses. We should go by the outlets, the tanger outlets that are down in this area. Like I said in the other vlog, we weren't real happy with I guess, the prices, the and, prices yeah. and the selection. And the selection, right. At the uh, North Myrtle Beach Tanger, so we'll see what this is like whenever we get to it. Okay. We are now at our final destination. We've gone basically through Myrtle Beach, and we're now going into the mall where we can get into uh, Best Bar and Costco. Best Buy we won't bore you with because we did that already, but uh, we'll take you through Costco. I don't know, especially for uh, the differences in pricing uh, between well, Canadian Costco's and U.S. Costco's. Sometimes, like I said before, there's not much change, but in, in some cases there is. And we're going to look for a few of the products that we didn't purchase, so we didn't have to haul down here. And we're hoping that they're at least the same or cheaper, maybe. So we're inside Costco in Myrtle Beach. Already found a few deals, and we weren't even really looking. Big store, good parking lot. So this, my wife tells me, is a good deal. She picked up a pack of two. Around 20 or $25 cheaper than a Canadian. I'm pretty busy at the checkers. That's wonderful. Set up very similar to home. A little bit bigger, I guess. Most of the snacks and stuff in the first part. When you move through to the center, that's where all the clothes are. Other than the need for looking for sunglasses. See if we can find. Now, one thing we're not used to is uh, going into Costco's that have alcohol sections. There is a pile of wine if you're a wine drinker. I think it's a good deal, probably. We like our uh, Kirkland Irish cream. But some of these prices, like I say, I can't really help people on high here because I'm not a, a wine drinker, so I really don't know what the costs are. But I can only tell you from what I can tell you from friends of mine who are wine drinkers from Canada will come down and they load up. Oh, this is what we're interested in. And it's the plastic bottles, which is exactly what we wanted. Because the ones we got before we're going to go 1.75 liter for $17 and now we're going to 1.5 or 11.99 and as you can tell the plastics they don't break so we'll be picking up a couple of those today so 
We'll go back to the middle of the section where Ann is. See what we can find. And the clothing part. Are you finding anything? No, not today. We uh, got our bottles down there. We'll pick them up on the way by. Okay. Yep, uh, of our, our soft ones. Uh, oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah, perfect job. Now we'll come back and we see something interesting. Well, go over in here at Costco and look at the coffee. Specific Bowl brand, 120 K pots. Now we bought that in Canada, in New Brunswick. Before we came down and with tax and everything it came up to $37.99 Canadian the same box and as you can tell here when you do the math we're well over 40 almost $45 Canadian for it here so that's an example of Canada prices of cost of cheaper We will check back with you when we know more. Just going to check in. I'll let Steve do the talking and I'm going to uh, take a little walk through since we've been here before. We kind of know our way around. I remember, nice and clean and really Lovely. Nice. Yep. Beautiful. You know what's good when you're a return customer, return guest. We have an indoor pool as well as an outdoor lazy river pool, which is great. You can use it any time of year. And that's where the two connect. It doesn't seem to be very busy. You always know when there's a Canadian or two around because they'll be at the pool when it's 70. But if you're from Myrtle Beach, you probably won't be out until it's over 80. Great place to hang out. Go back through the lobby and out the front door. And the snack bar area here. I'm going to take a walk out front.
nicely manicured grounds. Well kept is what we like about this place as well. Miniature golf, volleyball. Fitness center is in here. Usually you need a key to get in. I don't think there's anyone in here now. So I can just kind of show you in. It's very small, but it's okay. And this is where you enter into the indoor pool area. So I did the front part of the pool when we first checked in. This is the uh, looking back at the reception center. As you can see, there's another section of the Lazy River. And it goes all the way around to the other side of the pool. This is another little bonus area, Splash Cove. Cute little area for kids. It's all shallow water. Lots of uh, activities for the children to play on. There's another water slide over there. Oh, if you had little toddlers, this would be a wonderful place to hang out. I don't know what the water does. Like, does it come out of stuff? But we never saw it. Not actively. sure. Yeah. We'll check back so the, throughout the, the day to see little, if it's yeah, There's little water cannons. It'll probably be fun. Oh, yeah. I think it probably is uh, a lot more when it's in full swing. The Sheraton Schooner. Very cute. Just a quick look. The tennis courts. Perfect day to play tennis. It's just warm and not really hot. Right, there's shuffleboard basketball this way. Pool tables, and basketball court. I don't want to film anyone, so I'll just keep it pointed in the other direction. And there we are back at the pool section, so take a short cut in through here. That is a little overview. We will do more detail a little later on. So as I mentioned in the previous uh, vlog, the indoor pool and the outdoor pool all connect. And now I'm going to take a little walk into the indoor pool. You can see it's a great pool for doing laps in the morning. It's nice and warm. No, yes, it does. It keeps the cold and the warm and mix it, huh? separate. In the summertime, of course, when it's beautiful out, it'll open up. Do some laps over there? Yeah, wonderful place for laps. Billiards, ping pong. Maybe we'll walk all the way around and come up by the pool, or by the, by the gym area. There's your basketball court. I know you probably saw that yesterday. Right? I don't. Yes, I did show the basketball court yesterday. Yep. Yeah. 
We have a pickle box right now. We have the pool tables. Now we'll go way over to this way and come out and take a look at the pool or at the gym facility. It's a nice breeze here. Yeah, we need a card to get in here. Let's see who's in here first. Yeah, there's people in there, so. Is there? We'll come back. You can okay. go through the window. You can go through the window. No, I'll come back when I do my workout and okay. show you in there a little later. This is the fitness facility at Jarrett and Broadway Plantation. It's not overly big, but it's got a few bikes, treadmills, ellipticals, and all the size weights you can see here two benches i have my setup going here and it's got water and mats and bands i'm doing my own workout but it uh, serves the purpose This is an activity, it's free, it's already here, so all the gears here too is perfect. Okay, we have just been notified our room is ready. We're on the third floor of building nine. We've got a little walkway to get here. Now I'm going to take you in for a little peek. Too bad. First pin, first uh, first view, fridge, stove, all the kitchen amenities. Nice bright kitchen. This is a one bedroom, full kitchen. Nice kitchen, nice living area. Big TV for football day. Steve will be happy. Looks like we have a nice patio. This is my first view, so this is all new to me too. Oh yeah, it's all screened in, which is nice. The pond. Is the, is the king size bed beautiful with TV and access to the little deck? Good size closet. That's what I like. Nice jetted tub. Beautiful vanity. And, oh, two vanities. That's a bonus. That, that is definitely mine with a makeup stool. This will be Steve's. And tub and toilet. Everything you need. Probably take a peek in here. I assume this might be our washer dryer. Yes, perfect. Washer and dryer. And if you had a lock off, that would be the entrance to the other bedroom. 
Very pleased. Week two, about to begin. Nice little whirlpool area here at the very back. This will accommodate a lot of people. Yeah. Like in the summertime, I'm guessing, you know, when it's full, this is a happening place and there's a restaurant bar area over there that was open for half a day when we were here last time, but it's not uh, open now, which makes sense. There's no traffic. This is a Sunday now. We came in Saturday, so we're expecting a lot, of, a lot more checkouts and probably not very many check-ins this time of year, so it could be pretty quiet for our week. We'll find a chair somewhere here today and uh, hang out. Hang out, yes. Beautiful sunshine temperatures today around 21, 22 yeah, today. Yeah, that's what the high is going to be here. That's 72, Celsius. 74, yep. whatever, your, whatever your thing is. Okay, that's it for now. We're going to Eddie Bauer first. Our favorite store, our favorite outlet. We really like the stuff, not just for men, it's for women too. We seem to find lots of stuff in the North Myrtle Beach that wasn't there. So we'll go and take a little look around here. Looks like most things in here are 25 to 30. Some of the winter stuff looks like it's 60. Beautiful store. Clear centers in back. We'll take a look around and see if we can find something. I like that back wall. Take another 50 off. So, I came back outside. And I just wanted to make, make a note of this before I did this, that the pricing in here is just the same as North Myrtle Beach. It's just uh, terrible. You see that sign and you say, wow, everything's 60% off. Well, normally when we come to these outlets and you see like a, a jacket, it would be $140 marked down to like 70 bucks. And then you'd go into a corner and that 70 would be marked off 50%. Well, it's not the case anymore. Now they're at 140s on the jacket, and it says some of the stuff, stuff takes 60 off. Some of it says most of it says take 30 off. So actually, a better deal if you look at the the gear in Canada than it is right now down here paying U.S. dollars. So we hope we don't get shut out this whole trip, but we're going to continue looking around this whole mall and see what we come up with. <laughs> 